It's the biggest crowd ever at the Riverside Stadium. 34,800 surpasses the previous capacity here now that more seats are available and Leeds have taken up their full allocation of 3,000 tickets for what's virtually a Yorkshire local derby. Well, Jason Wilcox played in front of over 70,000 on Wednesday and he'll hope his contribution to England's cause against Argentina will earn him a place in Kevin Keegan's squad for Euro 2000. And if it does, well, he may well come across Middlesbrough's Christian Zieger, who scored Germany's goal in their 2-1 defeat by Holland in Amsterdam. Zieger's corners led to both Borough goals against Coventry last week. Paul Ince failed a fitness test on a groin injury this morning, so Neil Madison starts in midfield. A few absentees, Brian Dean not fit enough to face his old club, Robbie Musto and Dean Gordon playing in the reserves next Monday, Paul Gascoigne back in light training. And number five, Gianluca Festa, was widely quoted in the morning press on the subject of Middlesbrough and Brian Robson, but he's not the first Italian to feel he's been misquoted. Leeds are without several regulars. Kelly, Backer and Jones are all serving a one-match ban. Batty and McPhail injured. Bridges only fit enough to sit on the bench. So in come Alfie Holland, Danny Mills and David Hopkin. Uriah Rennie starts a match which uh, <laughs> Hamilton Ricard straight from the kickoff tries a shot. A match which uh, not just in this part of the world is billed as a really big game. The Colombian there took a an attempted pot shot straight from the kickoff. Mills, Campbell, Harry Kewell up front again with Alan Smith. Here's Kewell now, number 10. Mills has moved up on the right hand side. Lee Bowyer in the penalty area, Kewell shoots, oh it's come back off the offside, the flag's up, the flag's up, the goal will not stand. Leeds look across at the assistant referee on this side, and he has got his flag up, it's Darren Drysdale, whose flag rules out the effort. Well certainly, Lee Bowyer thought he'd scored, he didn't see the flag when he put the ball in the net or just afterwards, but it was certainly up, as the three Leeds players uh, were in a goal mouth position that's Mills that's Kewell been playing for 10 minutes and already signs this could be quite a feisty atmosphere both on and off the pitch oh it's been given away Well, Lee Bowyer is starting to wonder what sort of an afternoon he's going to have. A goal, or what he thought was a goal, wiped out in the first minute. And now, after a poor defensive clearance, it just flies away from that post. And it's away by Radibert. Juninho. Still no decision on uh, Juninho's future at the end of the season. Middlesbrough have an option to buy, or an option not to. Here's Campbell, this is Juninho. Oh, that was a good effort by Seeger. Hit it with his right foot. Well, this is the right foot of Christian Seeger, and he gets power, but uh, straight at Nigel Martin. David O'Leary choosing to sit in the stand at the start. Harry Kuehl coming in between two defenders. Oh, and he's got support here from Smith. And he's got a man free to his right. Well, Boya is causing all sorts of trouble because he's propping up in unmarked positions. He it was whose effort was disallowed early on. He's had two since then. This is Smith laying it out to Boya. No wonder he's got 10 goals from midfield this season. He's got a real eye for it. Cooper forward. Janino. Well, one has to ask the question, is he quite the same influence second time round? Finding it quite difficult at the moment to penetrate the Leeds defence this is Ian Hart 
Oh, that's a good little turn by Alan Smith. He's got Bowyer in the middle inevitably. And Lee Bowyer's here with the header. And it's come back off the bar. And, oh, it's come to Mills. Middlesbrough not clearing hard. Oh, straight at Schwartz. Well, Bowyer must wonder what he's got to do to score. It's a good cross by Smith, this. Really stood the ball up off the bar. And even then, Middlesbrough didn't clear it properly. And in the end, Mills got a shot in and finally Hart did. This is Smith. Pallister. Campbell, he's holding the line up quite well at times, uh, Campbell for Middlesbrough. Juninho makes a break, and Nigel Martin came an awful long way. Fleming! Oh, just wide, but what an opening. Nigel Martin, maybe an error of judgment, who knows. He decided early to come here. Radovez header came back off the Middlesbrough player, Juninho. Martin came to block, which he did, but he left the goal unprotected, and Fleming put it wide. Radebe was in fact trying to cover the line whether he would have got a touch had the ball been going in we'll never know here's Juninho good play Ziga up on the far side and Leeds trying to win the ball back don't do so Juninho surely Campbell surely no another good chance goes begging Christian Ziga made all the running here. He threw off two challenges. Juninho slips the ball to Campbell. Leeds beat Middlesbrough 2-0 at Elland Road earlier in the season. The last three meetings here have all been drawn, and at the moment, there's nothing to choose between them today. This is Ziga for Borough. Three the other way. There's the cross for Rickard! Hits the post! Oh, that was unlucky. A cross from Germany and a header from Colombia. But it's really well delivered by Ziga. And Hamilton Rickard, well, he was unmarked, but he did well to get the contact he did, twisting a bit. So now Leeds have hit the bar and Middlesbrough have hit the post. Madison stretching. Juninho taken from behind by Radiba. They can play on. And Juninho, oh, well, the flag's gone up. And I think that might have been against Ricard, who didn't interfere. And Juninho went on and planted the ball in the net. And it won't count. Look at this. It's Ricard who's offside. Juninho, was he as well? Well, he's looking around. The flag's up already at this stage. So it wouldn't have mattered. But, uh, well, there's one to talk about. This is Hart. Oh, and Schweitzer's punch is poor. Kuhl! Oh. On the volley, Harry Kuhl with the goal unguarded. I've rarely seen a half with so much incident and no goals. This is Schwarzer coming for what isn't a very good punch, in all honesty. He was under pressure, and look at that. Kuhl may feel he should have hit the goal. Good turn by Campbell, and he got it back from Rickard. Andy Campbell, Janinho's coming up to his left. Hamilton, Rickard! Good save by Martin. Put back in by Fleming. Well, Middlesbrough again, ruining a missed opportunity, but full marks to the uh, international goalkeeper, because Rickard was clean through. It's Bowyer now for Leeds. To Kuhl. Outside him is Wilcox. Bowyer's there again. Bowyer! Good turn and shot. Well, he gets into more scoring positions than some strikers, Lee Bowyer. Turning against Pallister there. This is Bowyer. Oh, it's Lee Bowyer. Oh, it's a good ball too to Huckabee. Just come on. And it's still loose. Bowyer's there again against the post. And the referee steps in. Leeds so close again. And you just can't contain Bowyer. He makes the play here. He's got Huckabee to his right. 
it's an attempted shot that's going or maybe a pass to be generous but they couldn't scramble it in and in the end Boya hit the post with Schwarzer down here's Kuhl again oh and Huckabee's offside offside Well, it's the third time the board's been in the net this afternoon, but each time an offside flag. Well, indeed, the goalkeeper didn't even try there. It was gone some time before. Jason Wilcox in his central position. He's got Hart and Kuhl to his left, Bowyer to his right here. Kuhl. Comes back off Summerbell. Kuhl again. Hart. It's Ian Hart for Leeds. Oh, he may well be the nominal left back, but uh, he scores goals for both club and country, this fellow, with either foot as well. Substitution imminent by Middlesbrough. Madison looks as if he may have taken a knock. Oh, and it is Huckabee with a great chance. Oh, he could have perhaps taken it on if he'd known. Ricard and Radebe. Janinho. Armstrong and he's found Janinho. Ricard, nobody to his right, but he's been brought down by Holland. Yellow card coming out. Yellow card coming out for Alfie Holland. Bringing down Ricard, who would have moved into some space on that side if he'd got away. It's a free kick, very central. And it's Janinho. Nigel Martin had that well covered. In fact, he's just peering <laughs> between the two defenders there to get the catch. Huckabee breaks away here for Leeds with Wilcox just inside him and Kuehl further over. It's still Huckabee. This is Kuehl. Oh, it's Lee Bowyer, surely! How did he miss that? Well, when he tots up all his goal attempts today, and there'll be many, Lee Bowie will think this was the best chance, surely. He slides it wide of the post. And this is a let-off with a capital L for, for Middlesbrough. Brian Robson trying to get some instructions out here. Thank you, thank you. Gianluca Fester, oh now there's trouble, Fester's tackle, Leeds reaction, Uriah Rennie right across, straight in there, good refereeing, he stopped the reaction, this is a bad trip by Fester, it's certainly bookable, and Leeds turned on him, but fortunately here there's been restraint by the players and real common sense by the referee who dealt with the possible reaction first and then went back and rightly booked Fester Eddie Gray to the left of David O'Leary this is Janinho now for Middlesbrough it's been that sort of game real uh, flow to it Janinho again picking up the pass from Ziga but then Radebe comes over and nobody can afford to dwell on the ball, even at this late stage. The pace has been unrelenting, that's another strong challenge from the back. And this Fester here has already been yellow-carded, Gianluca Fester, only a minute or two ago, and now he's brought down Huckabee. And this looks as though it could be a red card. Gary Pallister goes across to try and persuade the referee not to, 
but Gianluca Festa here, who was yellow carded only a matter of minutes ago, gets the red for the second offence. Middlesbrough will play the last few minutes with ten men. It's the tackle from behind, it's the one that FIFA and indeed the English FA want referees to clamp down on. He may have taken a bit of the ball, but he also took Huckabee. And Gianluca Festa is ordered off. And anxious times. And still it goes on. This is Bridges. And finally the whistle goes. Well, it was a typical local derby. There was plenty of edge in that game. Fester sent off towards the end, but David O'Leary's team unable to take advantage. They came close to a winner, but then again, both sides missed chances, and Lee Bowyer, who got into some terrific positions, will certainly look back on the last one when he only had the goalkeeper to beat. But it's one point nearer safety for Middlesbrough. It's one point nearer the Champions League for Leeds. It's Middlesbrough nil, Leeds nil, before the Riverside's record crowd.